Touching Foundations video course to answer all these questions and more. In my classes and workshops, I have taught hundreds how to preserve and restore their personal photographic collections with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now you can have me as your personal instructor in this 10 lesson course. After studying the videos and easy to read workbook, you'll finish with a firm foundation of how to use Adobe Photoshop or any other photo editing program confidently and correctly. Welcome. We took a little time off to take care of some important business. But there's never as much as an important type of business than fixing photos, making your pictures look their best. In the world of digital, <clears throat> as we transition out of the world of analog or film, we have to re we have to accept the fact that every picture needs a little work even the pictures that you shoot with with a very nice digital camera you you have to approach it with the idea that hmm let me see what's wrong with this picture let me see what i could do better with this picture <clears throat> a you know in, in college I had a, a photography teacher um, uh, John White and uh, he's a very famous photojournalist works uh, for the Chicago Sun Times and he would say to us he would say good better best never let things rest until your good is better and your better is best so that's how I want you to look at your pictures. All right, when you're when you're working on them, when you're cleaning them up, uh, if they're old, fixing them up. If they're new, uh, making sure that get that color cast just right. You know, just to stick that, you know, the the uh, the contrast just right. Uh, cropping, <clears throat> cropping is a whole another. Uh, uh, world and you know in my course that I teach I I take you through some interesting um, uh, little techniques especially for beginners with cropping but uh, the most important thing is to understand why we crop why we crop and when to crop and when not to crop and when you crop okay when you crop what at what stage in the workflow are you cropping you see and it, it does matter it does matter but you know every circumstance is different we have uh, I promised actually uh, if, you know if, if you're one of the uh, millions of people that follow us on uh, uh, if you're one of the millions of people that follow us on the uh, on, on, on Facebook, Twitter, um, dozen other social networks where we we uh, share updates, <clears throat> you uh, may have seen a little post about uh, dealing with green eye. Green eye. You know, usually you hear green eye. You mean red eye? No, I mean green eye. <laughs> so. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have the file. Uh, the question was submitted to me without the file. So I have contacted the individual with that question and requested that they send me the, the file of it. So as soon as we get that, we'll work on that. In the meantime, we're going to work on our great uh, grandmaster Moses Powell. <clears throat> and we're going to continue working on his picture. We've, we've gotten pretty far. And I think that um, you have uh, definitely some progress here. So let's um, zoom in here. And by the way, I, I, uh, 
I have been trying to work with Photoshop CS5 again, uh, you know, on the production side of, of photographics where we, uh, you know, we, we do real work and get paid, you know, um, and uh, <clears throat> it's been a pain, I, I gotta tell you, it's, it's been a pain. Check out, um, uh, if you're on our, if you follow us on Twitter, photographic, uh, twitter.com slash photographics. And uh, let me just get that up real quick. I, I post uh, little updates on, on various things. So you'll be able to find our... Um, this update, I made a little movie. Um, it's called... I uploaded a YouTube video. And annoying Photoshop CS5 error. So if you're curious about one of those... Uh, Annoying factors, I don't know. I think I just got to reinstall the whole Photoshop Adobe suite. I think, uh, you know, it, it's just corrupted. Probably because I keep every version of Photoshop that I have that's compatible with my system on my system. So, uh, that's going back. Let's see. Uh, I've got Photoshop CS2. <laughs> I've got CS2, CS3, CS4, CS5, so maybe one of them is, so I might as well just kind of uninstall all of it, put on CS5, or maybe CS4, since I, I'm having so many problems just in case, I don't know. We'll figure something out, right? You can always, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Anyways, so here we are, we cleaned up just basically all the spots and um, took care of many of the patterns so now I'm gonna go I want to go through and just get the um, you know some of the more obvious things here like this yeah <clears throat> And, uh, you know, you don't want to leave that. That's part of the environment. And I think that's something in his fingernail there, so we'll leave it. It's like, you know, you don't always want to clean up everything. Because it's part of the character. Now, if you're selling this picture, um, you know, that's a different story. You know, it's... A, got commercial value it's a stock image it's uh, going to be used to advertise a product you know you want to clean up you know so if they're selling these uniforms here right we want to make sure the model's fingernails are are right i think his fingernails are fine but well, let's just leave it so i have some yellow going on if you recall we went we went into um a lab lab mode earlier but I'm going to jump to uh, color mode with the paintbrush and just kind of get these edges here. There's a slight yellow cast going on around him, even in his hair. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm going to switch that to black. Ooh, no, that was not pretty. I sent. I actually sampled his uh, black uniform. Oops. Totally wipe him out there. Yeah. And just paint there. Just paint it real nice. Just take it easy. <clears throat> let's throw a um, let's throw a curves adjustment layer on there. Let's work on the contrast. Um, And uh, you can do this in levels as well, but we're going to go through the, uh, and, and move the endpoints of this curve in. Now, curves is what I call an advanced color correction function. I do not recommend it for beginners at all. I don't teach it to beginners at all. And... Let's turn it off and on. Wow, what a difference. 
I was thinking we we'd have to put the color back in. But um I don't think we're going to have to you know, strip it out, desaturate it and then make brand new color. I don't think we're going to have to. So, let me go back to the paintbrush tool and just try to get this in here. That that was the uh yeah, we're going to have to go to LAB mode for this one. So I don't want to mess with my layers. I don't want to change them right now. So the best thing to do at this point is make a duplicate. And we shall go to duplicate. <clears throat> I'm going to call this uh, LAB. And I'll delete this layer here merge this one in <clears throat> and switch the mode okay and then grab my paintbrush tool keep it at normal mode <clears throat> 